We're following a breaking news story in Lee County today where a child has died after he was hit while trying to board a school bus this morning. That accident happening in the Pratt's community on Highway 370 near County Road 2578 in Lee County. Less than an hour ago, authorities released the name of the driver and the charges he will face. And arrested is this man. He is Hunter Newman of Marietta. He has been charged with one count of aggravated assault. His bond has been set at $10,000. We start our team coverage on this story with WTVA Shante Sumter, who is live on the scene. Yeah, Emily, such a heartbreaking story here. Now, the accident actually happened about a mile back this way on Highway 370. We moved up a bit because the little boy's family just got home. And as you could imagine, they are having a hard time. Now, we are told that the school bus stop sign was out. The lights were flashing when this all happened. And now that driver is charged with aggravated assault. At 6.36 this morning, as nine-year-old Dalen Thomas was getting ready to cross this portion of Highway 370 to board the bus, the unthinkable happened. I had a vehicle that was going the opposite way. Uh, it appears it failed to stop for the school bus, uh, and unfortunately the child was struck uh, by the vehicle that was traveling uh, westbound. The driver of this white Toyota pickup, 22-year-old Hunter Newman of Marietta, stayed on the scene. Dalen was transported to Labonner Children's Hospital with life-threatening injuries and later died. Officials say the bus was as it appears here, with flashing lights and a stop sign out at the time. And of course, coming up on WTVA 9 News at 6, we will have a warning from MHP about this whole accident. And of course, Evan Hensley will have another portion of our team coverage. But for now, live in Lee County, Shantae Sumter, WTVA 9 News. And we continue that team coverage right now as residents in Baldwin are still in shock. Many of them left heartbroken. WTVA's Evan Hensley joining us live with how the community and school officials are handling this tragic news. When the news broke of the nine-year-old who had been crossing the street when he was hit by a pickup truck hit this area. It hit really hard. It left a lot of the residents in this area deeply saddened. I spoke to a few of them who said that they were brought to tears. I was heartbroken, very heartbroken. I've cried. I didn't know the kid. Uh, another lady and I, when she heard about it, she broke out into tears, and I just cried. I've really been stressed about it. My reaction, heartbroken. Literally heartbroken. I didn't know the boy, but it broke my heart because it could have been anybody's kid. It could have been my kid. A small community is heartbroken. Knowing one of their own, Dalen Thomas has died on a day that was supposed to be filled with tricks and treats. Now his parents are left without a son, and Baldwin parents are left holding on to their children a little tighter. I spoke with a resident who tells me he's a grandfather and says the area around the scene of the accident is dangerous. Granddaughter that gets on the bus out there at Pratt's. Mm -hmm. And then where she has to get on the bus, it's a hill, and it's a real dangerous hill. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping and praying it don't have to hurt. And the, I did speak with the assistant superintendent, Raymond Craven, a little bit ago, and he did tell me that all the prayers need to be going to this family at this time. He also shared with me that counseling will be provided for both students and teachers at the schools tomorrow. Coming up later at WTVA 9 News at 6, hear more from an impacted community as well as somebody who lived in that neighborhood and an organization that is going out of their way to try to help this family. For now, reporting live in Baldwin, Evan Hensley, WTVA 9 News.